Today I am back on Greendale Drive in Radcliffe where I've got another super property to bring to the market. Now, if you've watched any of the previous videos where we've marketed properties on this development, you'll know that I always talk highly about the location, the fact that it's one road in and one road out, meaning it's great for families. I love that it's so close to Whitefield and you've got the Metrolink nearby as well. But it's the fact that you get so much property for your money with this location. And today's feature, number 41 Greendale Drive, ticks all of those boxes, but it might just have the best position or the best situation on the entire development. Now this particular part of Greendale is a bit of a side street or a pedestrianised access point that's tucked away off the main part of Greendale itself and what that means is there's no passing traffic so there's no cars coming out front, in turn that means the kids can play out safely but it also means there's no neighbours to the side and to the front and it's also not overlooked to the rear I might add. But with that comes these incredible views of these playing fields and that woodland. So if you've got children then this is going to be an absolute dream. And the first thing to point out is the fact that the garage has already been converted into an additional reception room. So if you're looking for that valuable extra space, you've already got it. Or if you were looking for a property that is classed as a five bed house, then this room could give you that option. And on the other side of the hallway is where we find the original part, the living space, starting with this fantastic main family room. It's a really good sized room, there's loads of space for your furnishings, you've got a nice big window on the front and remember there's no passing traffic there, so it's going to be nice and private and it also comes with a huge storage cupboard set just beneath the stairs. And how about this for a beautiful family kitchen diner? Now at one point this was actually two rooms so this would have just been a small dining area here with a decent sized kitchen but nothing special but it's since been knocked through and turned into this incredible room. As you can see, it now works with that dining area just there. It's a beautiful modern kitchen as well with white high gloss handleless units. You've got some integrated AEG appliances as well. Uh, there's also plenty of freestanding space over there for a large American fridge freezer. Just through that door, well that's where you'll find the handy utility room and the downstairs WC. And as I mentioned, on the back of the house, through these French doors is where we find the conservatory that's been added on. It's a beautiful sunny day today, so it's great to be showing it you now. I might point out that it comes with radiators in here as well, it's fitted with radiators rather, and that's important in any conservatory. And it's also got the modern K-glass technology in the roof, meaning it helps to keep it cool in the summer and warm in the winter. Now upstairs, remember we've got four bedrooms and we've got two bathrooms as well. Uh, so there's three toilets in fact, if you include the one downstairs, but the main family bathroom uh, is the one just here at the head of the stairs, positioned right in front of us. It's situated towards the rear uh, and it's a lovely modern room. It's got tiles to the floor and the wall and it's a nice white three-piece suite with a shower overhead. And then directly opposite that is where we find the master bedroom. It's a great room this, uh, so it kind of comes in sort of two parts. And that's because obviously one part of it is the ensuite, but the room itself is a decent size. That's a king size bed. You've got uh, fitted wardrobes running right along that run there. It's positioned to the front this one as well, so you get some lovely views of the field just over there. Uh, it comes with a another large storage cupboard, which is positioned just above the stairs, much like the main family bathroom. The ensuite again comes with tiling to the floor and on the walls. So that leaves us with bedrooms two, three, and four. Now bedroom two is this one here. It's positioned to the rear, so it's overlooking the garden. It's a good size double this one. There's plenty of floor space, so you get an idea of what you're working with. And it's also got another full run fitted wardrobes just here. And I actually kind of like this third bedroom and that's because it's got the dual windows. So there's a little bit of a window there that you might just see on the side. I always like that. I just think it lets in that little bit more light. It's a double room, but it's currently set up as a single. A little bit too much Liverpool FC going in here for my liking though. And then finally, bedroom four. Now this is currently the spare bedroom. It's set up as a bit of an office, but check out the floor plan for those measurements. I always say it, but it'll, it'll talk, show you exactly what you're working with. Tucked in just behind there, there's a little bit of a reveal, and I'd imagine that that's where a single bed would go and still give you plenty of floor space. And just while I'm in the conservatory, we may as well bob outside and take a look at the rear garden. So we first step out onto a little bit of a patio area. Now I did point out that there's no neighbors to the side or to the front, and in fact, the structure that you see just behind us is actually the gable to a small apartment block, so there's nobody directly behind you there as well. You've got a lawned area over here, and you might be wondering what a couple of those dark patches are on the grass. Don't worry, the current owner has just resoiled and re-turfed, ready for a nice fresh lawn this summer. 